Introduction Students, we all know about the straight lines. Does anybody know who introduced it? Okay, I will tell you. The notion of line or straight line was introduced by the ancient mathematicians. Euclid was one of them. Ma'am, what made them to introduce straight line? They introduced straight line to represent straight objects with negligible width and depth. Euclid described a line as breadth less length and introduced several postulates as basic unprovable properties from which he constructed the geometry. Do you know what do we call that geometry? Yes, ma'am. We call it Euclidean geometry. Yes, you're right, Rahul. Euclidean geometry. But in modern mathematics, the concept of a line is closely tied to the way the geometry is described. For example, in analytic geometry, a line in the plane is often defined as the set of points whose coordinates satisfy a given linear equation. But in incidence geometry, a line may be an independent object distinct from the set of points which lie on it. Come, let's learn more about straight lines. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain slope intercept form. Explain intercept form. Learn normal form. Write general equation of a line. Find distance of a point from a line. Find distance between two parallel lines. Slope intercept form. The slope intercept form is probably the most frequently used way to express equation of a line. To use slope intercept form, all that you need to be able to do is find the slope of a line and find the y intercept of a line. In general, the slope intercept form assumes the formula y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and B is the y-intercept. Example of slope-intercept form. Find the equation of the line which intersects the y-axis at a distance of 2 units above the origin and makes an angle of 30 degrees with the positive direction of the x-axis. Solution. It is known that if a line with slope m makes y intercept c, then the equation of the line is given as y is equal to mx plus c. Here, c is equal to 2 and m is equal to tan 30 degree, which is equal to 1 by root 3. Thus, the required equation of the given line is y is equal to x by root 3 plus 2. It can be solved to x minus root 3y plus 2 root 3 is equal to 0. Intercept form. The intercept form of the line is the equation of the line segment based on the intercepts with both axes. Equation of the line making intercepts A and B on x and y axis respectively is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. a is the x-intercept, b is the y-intercept, a and b must be non-zero. Normal form. Methods for determining the equation of a line usually depend upon some knowledge of a point or points on the line. Normal form is a method that does not require advanced knowledge concerning any of the line's points. All that is known about the line is its perpendicular distance from the origin and the angle between the perpendicular and the x-axis where the angle is measured counterclockwise from the positive side of the x-axis. The normal form of the equation of a straight line is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha minus p is equal to 0. 
where alpha is the angle from the x axis to the perpendicular from the origin to the line and p is the length of the perpendicular example of normal form find the equation of the line which is at a perpendicular distance of 5 units from the origin and the angle made by the perpendicular with the positive x axis is 30 degrees solution if p is the length of the normal from the origin to a line and omega is the angle made by the normal with the positive direction of the x axis then the equation of the line is given by x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p here p is equal to 5 units and omega is equal to 30 degrees thus the required equation of the given line is x cos 30 degrees plus y sin 30 degrees is equal to 5 it can be solved to x root 3 plus y is equal to 10 general equation of a line any equation of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a and b are not zero simultaneously is called general linear equation or general equation of a line different forms of general equation slope intercept form if b is not equal to 0 then ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 can be written as y is equal to minus ax by b minus c by b or y is equal to mx plus small c where m is equal to minus a by b small c is equal to minus c by b is y intercept if b is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus c by a is x intercept which is a vertical line whose slope is undefined intercept form if c is not equal to 0 then ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 can be written as or x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 where a is equal to minus c by a is equal to x minus intercept b is equal to minus c by b is equal to y minus intercept if c is equal to 0 then ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 can be written as ax plus by is equal to 0 which is a line passing through the origin and therefore has zero intercepts on the axis normal form let x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p be the normal form of the line represented by the equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 or ax plus by is equal to minus c thus both the equations are same and therefore a by cos omega is equal to b by sin omega is equal to minus c by p which gives cos omega is equal to minus ap by c and sin omega is equal to minus bp by c and now sin square omega plus cos square omega is equal to minus ap by c whose square plus minus bp by c whole square is equal to 1 or p square is equal to c square by a square plus b square or p is equal to plus minus c by square root of a square plus b square therefore cos omega is equal to plus minus a by square root of a square plus b square and sin omega is equal to plus minus b by square root of a square plus b square thus the normal form of the equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p where cos omega is equal to plus minus a by square root of a square plus b square sin omega is equal to plus minus b by square root of a square plus b square and p is equal to plus minus c by square root of a square plus b square example of general equation of a line 
Reduce 3x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0 to all other forms. Solution Slope intercept form y is equal to 3 by 4x plus 5 by 4 where m is equal to slope is equal to 3 by 4. c is equal to 5 by 4 that is y minus intercept. Intercept form 3x minus 4y is equal to minus 5. 3x by minus 5 plus 4y by 5 is equal to 1. x by minus 5 by 3 plus y by 5 by 4 is equal to 1. Intercept form within parentheses. x minus intercept is equal to minus 5 by 3. y minus intercept is equal to 5 by 4. Normal form. 3x minus 4y is equal to minus 5. Minus 3x plus 4y is equal to 5. Dividing by 5, minus 3x by 5 plus 4y by 5 is equal to 5 by 5 is equal to 1. x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. p greater than 0. Where cos alpha is equal to minus 3 by 5, sin alpha is equal to 4 by 5, p is equal to 1. Example of general equation of a line. Find the equation of the line parallel to the line 3x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 and passing through the point minus 2, 3. Solution. The equation of the given line is 3x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 or y is equal to 3x by 4 plus 2 by 4 or y is equal to 3x by 4 plus 1 by 2, which is of the form y is equal to mx plus c. Slope of the given line is 3 by 4. It is known that parallel lines have the same slope. Slope of the other line, that is m, is equal to 3 by 4. Now the equation of the line, that has a slope of 3 by 4 and passes through the point minus 2, 3 is 3x minus 4y plus 18 is equal to 0. Distance of a point from a line. The distance of a point from a line is the length of the perpendicular drawn from the point to the line. The perpendicular distance d of a line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 from a point x1 y1 is given by d is equal to modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c by square root of a square plus b square. Example Find the distance of the point 3 minus 5 from the line 3x minus 4y minus 26 is equal to 0. Solution. Given line is 3x minus 4y minus 26 is equal to 0. Mark it 1. Comparing 1 with general equation of line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, we get a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to minus 26. Given point is x1 y1 is equal to 3 minus 5 within parentheses. The distance of the given point from given line is d is 3 by 5. Distance between two parallel lines. The distance d between two parallel lines y is equal to mx plus c1 and y is equal to mx plus c2 is given by d is equal to modulus of c1 minus c2 by square root of 1 plus m square. If lines are in general form, that is ax plus by plus c1 is equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0, then the distance between them is d is equal to Modulus of C1 minus C2 by square root of A square plus B square. Example. 
Find the distance between the parallel lines 3x minus 4y plus 7 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. Solution Here a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 4, c1 is equal to 7 and c2 is equal to 5. Therefore, the required distance is d is equal to modulus of 7 minus 5 by square root of 3 square plus minus 4 square is equal to 2 by 5. Did you know? Point of intersection of two lines, let the equations of two lines be a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. Mark it as 1. And a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Mark it as 2. Suppose these two lines intersect at a point px1, y1. Then x1, y1 satisfies each of the given equations. Therefore, a1, x1 plus b1, y1 plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2, x1 plus b2, y1 plus c2 is equal to 0. Solving these two by cross multiplication we get x1 by b1, c2 minus b2, c1 is equal to y1 by c1, a2 minus c2 a1 is equal to 1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. It implies x1 is equal to b1 c2 minus b2 c1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. y1 is equal to c1 a2 minus c2 a1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. Hence, the coordinates of the point of intersection of 1 and 2 are B1 C2 minus B2 C1 by A1 B2 minus A2 B1. C1 A2 minus C2 A1 by A1 B2 minus A2 B1. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. The point x, y on the line with slope m and y intercept c lies on the line if and only if y is equal to mx plus c. If a line with slope m makes x intercept d, then equation of the line is y is equal to m into x minus d. Equation of a line making intercepts A and B on the x-axis and y-axis respectively is x upon A plus y upon B is equal to 1. The equation of the line having normal distance from origin P, an angle between normal and the positive x-axis, omega, is given by x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to P. Any equation of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 with a and b are not 0 simultaneously is called the general linear equation or general equation of a line. The perpendicular distance d of a line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 from a point x1, y1 is given by Distance between the parallel lines AX plus BY plus C1 is equal to 0 and AX plus BY plus C2 is equal to 0 is given by.